Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Connection Math and this episode is going to be all about West Bengal. Uh West Bengal has uh, 42 Lok Sabha seats. It's the highest number of seats just after uh, Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. So in some ways it has the third highest number of Lok Sabha seats. It's a big state, politically important not just for uh, uh the BJP but also for the TMC. Mamata Banerjee, the supremo of TMC and also West Bengal chief minister since 2011 has moved away from the India party. She was seen as one of the architects of uh, the united opposition alliance but of course problems with uh, uh, several other parties uh, uh, came up and she of course uh, uh, denied uh, decided not to be part of uh, the india alliance and now uh, she of course is contesting west bengal all by herself and we are not really sure if it's going to be entirely by polar contest what we understand is of course it's going to be a tmc versus bjp and it's going to be another fierce contest and i'll tell you exactly why for that the past of uh, on uh, the uh, the state is very important now west bengal is ideologically and politically very important for the bjp this is one state that um uh, the, the party has been eyeing for decades remember one of the first uh, seats uh, that the jansang uh, the mother of uh, bjp won in the first elections of uh, india 1951 52 two of those seats came from west bengal shah prasad mukherjee the founder of of, of the mother party actually came uh, from kolkata and of course then uh, the party could not replicate its success its organization also uh, broke down but several of its ideologues from orbindo coast to bankim chandra uh, several of them actually come from uh, west bengal which is why um for the bjp this is a very important state it's also an ideological fight because the uh, state has been under left rule for over three and a half decades and for the bjp fighting the communists is also equally politically important for its expansion and tnc is um, uh, tmc under mamta banerji has uh, Uh, you know has been part of the india government in the past uh, but uh, she is seen as somebody uh, who uh, you know who is a fierce critic of narendra modi at the same time um, she is also sometimes uh, seen uh, to make these uh, personal outreaches uh, towards the prime minister the prime minister is also seen as somebody who uh, has a cordial cordial relationship with um, uh, the with with mamta banerji but not like a friend that he considers navin patnaik uh, miss banerji has been uh, in her uh, well in her optics and in a projection of politics very clearly anti bjp uh, although the congress and the cpm have already have always called her uh, a team b of uh, of the bjp but in some ways uh, most people who observe her say that she considers the left uh, and the congress party as more of an enemies rivals to her considering her domestic dominance in the state now in 2011 is when she comes to power and uh, throughout the last uh, few years last two decades she has uh, managed to uh, keep her popularity intact from 2011 to 2016 to 2021 she has won uh, three terms uh, and uh, but in 2019 the lok sabha polls of course was different in 2014 she still managed to get 34 of uh, the seats in west bengal despite there being a modi wave at the center and other parts of the country but in 2019 um, the state actually voted Uh, for the bjp in some parts 18 of the 42 seats went for the bjp and uh, the bjp reduced the total congress to just 22 seats that was a huge setback for on the banerji but in 2021 the party bounced back and uh, the party won uh, many of the assembly seats in the same lok sabha seats that had gone for the bjp in 2019 this includes areas of jungle mahal where uh, the threat of nationalism was rampant at one point it also includes areas of north bengal north bengal is seen as the bjp's bastion it has places like kuch bihar and ipurdwar also darjeeling and uh, malda siliguri and all these places where the bjp seems to have really made huge inroads and of course you have the whole bent the industrial belt of durgapur and uh, asansol and um, uh, bardhaman uh, uh, durgapur which is where there are many hindi speaking uh, uh, people voters which is where the bjp has also been trying to make a mark um, and it did really well there in 2019 as well in jankal mahal which is uh, basically uh, an area that borders jharkhand jharkhand and it is also uh, uh, seen as you know, very christian mentions there that part here you know, with a huge uh, st with a prominent st population uh bjp did extremely well in 2019 but in 20 um 21 assembly polls the tmc managed to regain a lot of uh, lost ground especially with tribal voters because it's 
started promising them, uh, you know, a special status for Sarnathan, and also started reaching uh, reaching out to them with uh, with 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 its own welfare schemes. But North Bengal seems a big challenge for the BJP, and that is when the um, uh, it seems a big challenge for the TMC, and that is where the BJP is still strong. It has uh, the CAA this time. And uh, CAA is uh, extremely important in South Bengal districts, especially the seats like uh, Bongao and other places in North uh, uh, 24 and South 24 Parakaras. This is where there are people who have come from Bangladesh uh, over the last few years. They've settled there, the Mathua community or the Namashudra community. And the BJP has been promising them not just welfare, but also dignity through CAA. Although Mamta Banerjee has been saying that the CAA is just a trap that will ensure that they will lose their uh, existing land and jobs. So it, it remains to be seen as to whose narrative uh, clicks on the 4th of June. But there are big questions here now that uh, the West Bengal elections, uh, you know, pose. One is, of course, uh, what happens uh, to the left parties, uh, what happens to the left, because remember, after 2021, the left did see some sort of a uh, comeback in, in Panchayat polls and in municipality polls with its vote share going up to 14%. Uh, if 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 the left even manages to win uh, one seat or two seats, that will be interesting. They have the left has actually uh, um, you know uh, put forward a lot of young candidates, promising candidates this time. But uh, many observers of West Bengal uh, say that this is going to be a BJP versus TMC contest, and the test of IP incumbency is very important here because it's ten years of Modi versus uh, uh, you know. 13 years of uh, Mamta Banerjee and Mamta Banerjee has her own welfare schemes including the Lakshmi Bhandar where she is promising rupees 1000 to rupees uh, 1200 to women that is that is hugely popular in the state but there is also this uh, this narrative and this reality of misgovernance that her government is facing with respect to Sandesh Khali in which many women of Sandesh Khali a tiny island in, in South Bengal, they come out and openly talked about the hooligans that her party allegedly has. And this was in the face of Sheikh Shah Jao's associated with the TMC because he's in custody. Now, many women came out and said that they were not just sexually harassed, uh, abused and, uh, um, you know, uh, they were, they've, they've suffered for long. Uh, in fact, uh, these uh, these people, that uh, these women also alleged that the TMC hooligans also um, had complete control over their livelihoods and also grabbed their land. Now, that was a huge uh, embarrassment for, for Mamta Banerjee, who's seen as a champion of women's rights. Then, of course, what uh, this also followed, um, you know, uh, something that the TFC has been going through with respect to its uh, position on corruption, because many of Mamta Banerjee's um, uh, own aides, including Partha Chatterjee, are in, uh, are in uh, custody now because of... Uh, their involvement in corruption scams. ED has been a regular visitor in West Bengal and in some ways, many people say that there is a resonance uh, among voters that many of the benefits have gone to TMC people, at least with respect to, uh, you know, teacher recruitment uh, uh, program, something that has been struck down by courts. So will the BJP, uh, will the BJP's anti-corruption narrative against TMC work? That will be very interesting when the BJP is Sandesh Khandi um, you know, expose against DMC work. That's also going to be very interesting. But remember that Mamta Banerjee is a fighter and she's been around for long. And there is also this concept of, um, uh, you know, the pr big only pride that she's played on. Uh, the party has been focusing on not just the Bohiragato concept, but also has been calling BJP, uh, um, you know, Bangla Virothi, you know, saying that they're opposed to Bengali sentiment. And that is something that it did work in 2021. We're not sure if it's going to work in 2024 because the BJP has also made all these corrective measures. Um, it has ensured that Bengali leadership, take, um, Bengali leadership takes complete control of the party in the state. So despite central leaders uh, like um, Sunil Bansal, Amit Mahad, they are working very hard in ensuring that the organization grows in West Bengal. Those are the fo forefront of the BJP campaign are people like Shukantam Vajumdar and Shuvendu Adhikari that people of Bengal consider uh, their own. So that is one big thing that the BJP has done. In fact, a lot of turncoats had come to the BJP in between 2018 to 2021. That journey, of course, uh, uh, is not there anymore. Uh, but Tabas Roy, one of the um, you know TMC leaders, is contesting uh, from North uh, Calcutta at this time. Uh, June 1st, we'll see nine seats of Kolkata going to polls. Vavta Banerjee has time and again raised uh, fiscal injustice, um, uh, you know, um, fiscal injustice, the allegation of the centre saying that Mandrega funds have been denied and the state does not get its right, uh, rightful dues from the centre. That is something that she's been uh, uh, talking about. She's also come and met the Prime Minister in this regard. 
but it remains uh, to be seen as to how the bjp aggressively approaches west bengal because you know the minority population is about 33% so there is a demographic challenge that the bjp faces uh, the tmc has also been focused on st scst votes which is also dominant the community there are hindi speakers bengal's demography has also seen a lot of change there are also hindi speakers there is also infiltration so you know many sections of voters are being reached out by both parties tmc and bjp and uh, it will be interesting to see how bjp um, sort of uh, manages to increase its tally to remember it won 18 seats it's hoping to get at least uh, 25 to 30 seats this time in fact it is hoping to compensate for the losses that it makes in other states from bengal uh, but for the uh, tmc it's not just a fight for existence it's also a fight a show of resistance uh, uh, you know uh, resistance uh, towards the bjp that it's that has become the major opposition party its most important rival uh, just in a matter of uh, uh, you know 7 to 8 years remember in 2021 the party in 2021 the party won 77 seats which was you know which was a huge improvement from the two seats the many seats that it won just 5 years ago so the bjp is rising in west bengal so the kolkata seats that go to bronze on the 1st of june will also show how um, what kind of a prestige battle this is because this is also a fight uh, for acceptance by the bjp especially amongst not just the badrulo bengali elite community but also you know as to be seen as a party that understands bengali pride and the bengali sentiment and bengali ethos mm-hmm.